I have to ask, who abducted Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings and left in his place this guy I've seen saying some of the most absurd things about the Syrian refugee issue? I don't mean his willingness to accept a refugee population into Dallas that could well contain dangerous terrorists. That's an ongoing debate where we would obviously take different sides. No, the moment on MSNBC is what I'm talking about, where he said that ISIS is no more Islamic than the Nazi senior staff was Christian. That's not the Dallas mayor I know, the sensible guy whose politics I may not share on some issues, but who shoots straight and never insults our intelligence with index cards from the ranks of radical political correctness. Yet there he is. Look, you can say ISIS doesn't represent all of Islam or even most of it, but the suggestion that it is not Islamic in its foundations, its logic, its worship, its motivations, that's just factually false. From New York on 9-11 to Paris a few days ago, you see the handiwork of the portion of the Muslim world that takes the ancient call to kill the infidels with literal deadly seriousness. Modern, moderate Muslims, including most in America, are trying to distance from that, and they deserve our support. But Dallas deserves a mayor that does not fall victim to the ridiculousness of suggesting that our enemy is somehow non-Islamic. In scolding those of us who are vigilant, the mayor lectures us to use words carefully. He's right. But his words have sadly sugarcoated the threat we face, and I cannot believe the Mike Rawlings I know would do that. I hope the real guy returns soon. For the Dallas Morning News, I'm Mark Davis. Catch me mornings on 660 AM The Answer and 660 AM The Answer.com.